I absolutely hate this saying, new year, new you, but I guess now is as good a time as any to start changing the way we save our money. So over the past couple of months, I've been testing out some artificial intelligence that has helped me to save some money. I'm going to show it to you today. Welcome back to another episode of Steve's Reviews. It's that time of month again for a sponsored episode in collaboration with Fintech Finance, one of the leading news platforms for financial technology. And this month, I've been asked to take a look at something called Plum. Not Plum as in a fruit, but Plum as in an artificial intelligence savings assistant. There's two ways to interact with Plum. Through Facebook Messenger, which I think is where it initially started, I'm, I'm not sure, but also through their standalone app, which you can find in the App Store. Now, I'm going to be taking a look specifically at the standalone app today because Facebook already has far too much information about me. So I'll be taking a look at the dedicated app. The way you get started is by downloading the app at the link below and then signing in and linking your current account to Plum. Once this is done, the primary way Plum works is by moving small, minuscule amounts of money from your bank account into a Plum savings account. And it does this through an algorithm it uses to calculate exactly how much it thinks you can afford to put away into a savings account. Now, when I first started reading about Plum, I was horrified at the prospect of putting artificial intelligence in control of how much money it's pulling out of my account. But it has indeed moved such small amounts that I haven't even noticed the money coming out. And that has led to a nice big savings pot, which I'll go into in just a bit. The thing that really settled my nerves at the beginning was that there's a little slider in the central brain of the app that allows you to choose how aggressive or how gentle it is saving money. Now, I opted for the very sort of shyest, gentlest option you could because, like I said, I was a little bit anxious. And it was only maybe pulling out about two pounds to three pounds every four to five days. So it really wasn't very much at all. It's the cost of a pint down the pub. Now this brain is essentially your control over how Plum functions. So you've seen how you can sort of change its aggressiveness, but there's a few other quite nifty things we can do in here as well. I can choose to add things such as roundups, which ultimately rounds up any transaction I've made to the nearest pound and puts that into the Plum Savings account. It also allows me to choose exactly how my money is saved. Now, I mean this because there's actually two ways or two places you can store your money within Plum. Firstly is a standard savings account which Plum offers. There is no interest in this, so you're not going to get any money. It's just a place for Plum to store the money that it takes from you and it's as simple as that. There's also an investment account. Now this investment account is basically a stocks and shares ISA, where you can choose to put the money you've invested into certain investment funds. Those could be big tech companies or green companies. As you can see, I've chosen to do tech and I've just started doing green as well. But it's a good way of growing on your investment or your savings. But bear in mind, the money in there could go up, it could go down because it is stocks and shares so your money is at risk in there but typically speaking if it does go up it can lead to much higher interest than if you put it in a standard savings account like i said the only downside though here is that your money is at risk because you're in stocks and shares before i show you in more detail how much money plum has saved me over the past couple of months of using it there are a couple of things that i found are a consideration when using the service first of all is pending now this is something that I found on review sites like Trustpilot. People have mentioned the pending transactions. Now, the way it works is that Plump will essentially choose an amount to take from your account, put it in your pending, and it takes a while for that to come out. That can lead to a little bit of confusion if you watch your bank account like a hawk like I used to. And I guess when I originally started using Plum, I was watching it and trying to make sense of what it was doing. I think the key thing for me was just to take a chill pill and sit back because at the end of the day, it's not meant to be something that you're watching with a hawk. This is meant to be something that works seamlessly in the background to save you money. If you want to manage your money, every single minute detail, this service possibly isn't right for you. 
But if you want to be able to save money without thinking about it, then this is the right thing for you. You just need to let it do its thing in the background and trust that it will work because without a doubt, it has done, which I'll show you very, very shortly. One other consideration is that Plum is not FSCS protected. However, and this is the big however, Plum have said here, and this is on their website, savings in Plum are held as e-money in a secure bank account that is protected by electronic money regulations. And it's also ring fenced, so in the unlikely event that the holding bank goes, then all the money is returned to the customers. So although it's not FSCS protected, Plum have kind of offered that guarantee that your money will get put back to you if anything does go south, but it's very unlikely to do so. It's just one of those little considerations that you've got to make if you are deciding to put lots of money into Plum, because as well as the automatic savings function, which is what we're kind of looking at today primarily, you can choose to put your own money into it. Now that wouldn't really make much sense if you're just using the standard Plum savings account because there's no interest on it but you might want to put money into it to use the investment function. So now you know exactly how Plum works and what it's supposed to do. Let's have a look at the app and see exactly how much it saved me over the past couple of months. This is the main screen that we're met with and it shows exactly how much I've got in my Plum savings account and how much I have in my investment account. So in my standard Plum savings account, which is the top one, I've saved 51 quid. That's 51 quid in two and a half months. Now, okay, fine, you might turn around and go, well, that's not very much. But if you're useless at saving like I am, that's great. There's 51 quid in there that I can use to go on a night out or go for a meal or go see the new Star Wars film. That's 51 quid that I didn't have before. And it's been pulling little bits of money out every four or five days. I haven't even noticed it go out. And if I go into it, you can see how much money it's been pulling out over the past few months. So for example, the next one it saved is £1.51. Prior to that, we've got £3.50, 72p, there's a quid, £1.43. Most of these are less than a cost of a pint of beer. But it's amounted to 51 quid. That's awesome, that is cool. But what's more cool is the investment section. Now, there's £65.35 in here. Admittedly, I put a little bit more in the beginning into this investment just to kind of kickstart it off. But it actually shows my earnings under here. Now, I've earned £2.03. and pence. That is over 3% interest in two and a half months. That's much, much, much higher than any savings account that I could have used. So, I'm quite happy that I've got a bit of return there on my investments. And if we go in here, you can see that I've invested in the tech giants and that's what's been giving me a little bit of money back on my investments. And if I go into this, I can actually see exactly what companies are enrolled in this particular investment fund. So we've got things like Microsoft, Apple, uh, Alphabet, which is Google, Cisco. So it does this all for you automatically based on what you choose to invest in. But the fact it's given me an extra two quid over two and a half months, I'm really happy with that because that is the price of half a pint or a quarter of a pint if you live in London. But at the end of the day, that two quid wasn't two quid I had before. That's now all mine. So I'm well happy with that. Yes, it's not the most amount of money ever, but that's far higher than if I'd invested 65 quid in a standard savings account. It would have only given me 3% interest in an entire year that this is done in two and a half months. So the investments is great. My final take on Plum is that it worked so seamlessly in the background. And although I was mega nervous at the very beginning about using AI to sort of take money from my account, because I mean, I was worried that it was going to start pulling 30 quid here and 40 quid there every two and a half hours, but it didn't do that it seamlessly worked in the background. And the fact that now I've got over a hundred quid, I can do whatever I want with that I didn't have before, I'm super happy with it. And I'm gonna start putting more trust in artificial intelligence. Cause let's face it, that is what's coming next in 
every area of tech. Artificial intelligence will be everywhere in the next few years. I mean, it already is here to a certain extent. You've got all the Amazon Echo services, your Siri from Apple, your Google Home, all of that is artificial intelligence to a certain extent. But at the moment, that artificial intelligence is reactive instead of proactive. Plum is proactive. It does it for you without you asking it to do it. And that, to me, is the future of tech. And I'm well impressed with how seamless Plum has been. So listen, it's free to give it a go. And if you want to give it a go in the new year to change the way you're saving money in 2020, head to the link in the description below and try it out for yourselves because you'll probably find you'll have a very similar experience to me in the fact that in a few months' time, you'll have a couple hundred quid to go and spend down the pub. And with that in mind, I'm off to the pub. Whoa.